not a Garrick. Hi, Cascade into Terminate. Bye bye. Away goes the Skyfisher. We're at 15. The equipment Cascade. was such an advance for the game. You used to play with cards that, that went on guys, creature and charms. You felt so miserable when things like Terminate. Sure, happened. if that was an Armadillo cloak, and, yeah. you know, and you get terminated, it was uh, it was just a brutal two for one. Now, now there's a certain amount of inevitability on the board with the Basilisk Collar. You have to kill every creature because every time you play a 2 3, you're building mm -hmm. your own Nighthawk. That would sell really well, wouldn't it? A, bu <laughs> a build your own Nighthawk kit. Uh, Oblivion Ring then takes Does away. Uh, yeah. Tucked again under the black band again. <laughs> Tack three. Note to self. Tack for three. Let's go down to 12. Siege Gang Commander. Siege Gang Commander. Can plus three guys. Can I get some Goblin Tokens? I'm sure you can. We'll give you three. Thanks. And that terminate out of uh, Blood Braid Elf has really given uh, a sizable edge here on the back of the Siege Gang as well uh, to Bogomus here. Uh, and, uh, and so we're, we're looking at uh, devout, I believe, a devout lightcaster, Craig's hand. And if you look at the way this game, the sport is developed, it's kind of a dead card for him because the the there's still, I believe, future leeches in the deck. But for example, the sprouting threat axes that he hides he hides behind most of the time mm -hmm. ha have not uh, shown up to play because they're in his sideboard. Yep. So 18-12 for Tchaikovsky fans around the world. Right now, Bogomus leads, lays a land. We're going to see an active mana? No, Pulse we're going to see... Oh, Pulse the Skyfisher. We are very close to a final here because eight five you, guys have gone in. Eight damage puts him to four. There are That's all you. these tokens. Just kill you during my upkeep. You better have a wrath here. Yep. Handshake! We are done in the semi-finals of Pro Tour San Diego, Kyle Bogomus. He doesn't look like the happiest man in the world, but you can bet his heart is pounding inside because he has just defeated Craig Wesco by three games to one and uh, in a mirror uh, of the other matchup, three to one uh, went the other way to Simon Gertsen. And my goodness gracious me, after 411 players bite the dust, Jund will well play Jund <laughs> in the Pro Tour San Diego final. Yeah, Kyle must be what thinking is, I should have gone and played basketball last Saturday instead of going to that PTQ. <laughs> yeah. That is stuff. Um, there we go. Points, so. A pair of three and one uh, semi finals. Uh, let's go through that first one, the big shock, if you will, uh, with the greatest respect to Simon Gertzen. He was meant to be there as the penultimate stepping stone to history. But there's a reason we play the games. Ab absolutely. Uh, and I was very impressed talking to Simon over the break. He said, listen, he's like, this is how I want it. That's what I want to do. I want to be the guy that derails history. If I'm going to win a pro tour, which is what I'm here to do, I want to get past LSV. You know, he's not someone who's like, oh, woe is me. I have got to play the best player in the world. He's like, no, I want to play the best player in the world. Yeah, and uh, his wife, Level 2 Judge Claudia, who is often at most of the Pro Tours, uh, judging you'll have seen her around if you come to these great events. Uh, she's been going nuts on Facebook uh, this weekend uh, as husband is well and truly bringing home the bacon. <laughs> hey, Claudia, he'll be home soon. Yeah, he, w he will. He's got something for you. Yeah, <laughs> maybe about that tall. <laughs> and a check. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yeah, it's always it's always quite exciting seeing the trophy on the plane home when you're at uh, like a USGP uh, GP or a Pro Tour and you see a European winner and you're all on the same flight home. There's 20 Dutchies, you know, and the the Czech players there. And then there's this guy I remember going home from uh, Yokohama in 2007 with Guillaume Wafatapa, you know, and he's not a big guy. Guillaume's a, a a small man, and you know the trophy was kind of half his size, so he's like in this suitcase and his laptop bag and this trophy of doom as Pro Tour champion. If, but my, yeah, my favorite image of that is always the guy sleeping in the airport, uh, stretched out yeah. uncomfortably across the things with the check leaning up against him and the trophy for a pillow. Yeah, Jan Roos coming back from uh, Pro Tour Hollywood. Uh, he, he was there just, you know, head down, trophy beside him, you know, runner up from uh, Hollywood there against Charles Gindy in 2008. All right, so LSV does not make history in terms of winning. He does, of course, make history for just an absolutely staggering achievement this weekend. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, just, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about the uh, best player in the world in our preview show. We talked about Tomohara Saito, who I, who I thought was playing the best mm -hmm. magic in the world. But, uh, you know, Louis, Louis Scott Vargas has clearly uh, thrust himself back into that conversation. Uh, I can't, cannot wait to see what he's going to do 
for the rest of the season. And something that's very interesting about Luis as well is that the dip in his form kind of coincided with his, if you like, his real wor- world investment uh, in the fact that he's running superstars. He's very involved with the channel Fireball. He edits for uh, that website. And you just saw the fact that, in a sense, he took his eye off the ball uh, for a couple of months where he just had too many commitments to be at the absolute peak. But things are running very smoothly for him in life right now. You know, he seems very, very relaxed. And he went, yep. Yeah. I came back, and he had a terrific team around him as well. There's a yeah, really killer group of people to be playing with. And you talked about like the Channel Fireball community, which is, uh, you know, it, again, it's making players better. They, those guys have absorbed Tom Ross into the fold. Tom Ross, uh, you know, came up with the deck that has come to be known as Boss Naya. Yep. Um, you know, it's just always very exciting to watch a community, and and really, what feels like almost like a super team from the late '90s, early 2000s, mm. coalesce around Luis Scott Vargas. You've got you know Conley Woods on board. You've got Brad Nelson. You've got Tom Ross. These guys who are starting to put up great numbers. You've got Paulo on the team. You've got uh, David Ochoa and Josh Utter Layton, who are just you know two of the most dominant Moto players of all time. Mm. Uh, I would like to go on record at this point as well to express my personal appreciation to that group of players because I had a tremendous opportunity over the last month or so uh, to be in on all their emails during testing. So in the last month, I've seen some incredible stuff. Uh, they just allowed me. They said, "Yep, you can come and see everything." That we're doing as we build towards the PT. You saw vampires come and go. You see, you know, polymorph progenitors come and go at Calney Gardens and things, and, and gradually they narrow it down, narrow it down, that they all get together at Oakland. And it was just a tremendous privilege to see that testing process inside a real pro team. It was, it was great. So thank you to them uh, very much. So uh, that is there, and then in... The other side of the table. Yeah, on the other side of the table from... Uh, we have Simon Gertson, so he is in his first Pro Tour Top 8 and his first Pro Tour Final. And now he will face Kyle Bogomers, who defeats Craig Wesco. The white weenie is gone, and Bogomers, the 20-year-old from Waterford, Michigan, uh, been playing for almost a decade, played at uh, Pro Tour Charleston in 2006. That was his team debut, uh, and now comes in to his first Pro Tour final. They're going to be pretty nervous over the next few minutes. i got to tell you, I'd be shocked to see Kyle be nervous. He, he seems so calm. His demeanor is so cool. Uh, he, he's, just, uh, he's just been kind of a remarkable presence in this top eight. Uh, he's playing uh, Jund. And uh, we're going to see Jund on Jund. And I think we're about ready to... Uh, Head on over and take a look at it. Yeah, so what we're going to do um, is just to, because we care about your comfort at home around the world, we're going to take a five, ten minute break here. We're going to let you go to the bathroom, maybe go to the fridge, get another cold drink. We care about our comfort here. Your, we care about our comfort here <laughs> as well. We're going to die in the sauna that is the booth. So we're going to be back in about ten minutes with the Pro Tour final of San Diego 2010. Do not dare go away. Join us because history will still be made in just a few short minutes. See you very, very soon. <laughs> 